Alright, what is going on guys? It's Super out here bringing you guys another video here today, and today I'm bringing you guys a different kind of video. Um, I'm giving you guys my voiced opinion on Battlefield 1 compared to Call of Duty Infinite Warfare with the COD 4 remake. And I'm not usually one to voice my opinion about CODs versus other games, it's usually just the new COD that's coming out. But this time, I thought that maybe I should do, because I've watched both trailers and they both look like very beautiful games <laughs> but call of duty compared to battlefield has always been the higher region the most popular the the overachiever but the uh battlefield series has always been the underdog you know has always been the the one to not really uh it gets a lot of sales but it's not the main uh first person shooter that people like to play which is a sad thing because i've played the game i've played it battlefield 3 battlefield hardline and battlefield 4 and they're all really good games they're all amazing games battlefield has always been a great game not one of my favorites like cod was but definitely was one of my favorite games so cod players like me and your guys selves have probably been asking the same thing that all of the other people in the community have and that is to bring cod back from the dead and to take it away from futuristic robot jetpack fighting stuff so other people have had the same thoughts as me a lot of people have been making videos with the same exact thoughts as i have and you guys have probably heard it a million times but in my opinion Battlefield just did exactly what COD, uh, the COD community wanted COD to do, and that's why they're getting so many views and stuff. They uploaded the trailer four days after, four or five days after <coughs> COD uploaded theirs, and COD says a million dislikes. Meanwhile, Battlefield 1 has 12,000 dislikes. COD has 250,000 likes. Meanwhile, Battlefield 1 trailer has 650,000 likes. So it probably has more than that now that I'm speaking this, but. Just the fact that all of that is so... Okay, the fact that Battlefield has so much more support right now is actually unreal. But it is because they're bringing it back to a World War One scenario, like fighting with the horses and the guns and everything's just going to be so back exactly the way people wanted COD to remake it. But COD kept going more into the future and pissing off their fans, trying to sell it to the younger kids that are very brand new, the kids that came in on BO2 and just are used to the futuristic stuff, not knowing that there are people in this community that have been here since MW2 and COD4, which is probably the region of their community that they have today. So my voice, like, opinion on Battlefield 1 to uh, COD Infinite Warfare, I think what they tried to do, COD um, actually tried to get more sales, by doing the COD 4 remake. I don't even think they really wanted to do it and I bet you it's probably not even going to be a very good remake. I just think that they wanted to sell Infinite Warfare so they just added that in as a buy the game that get this because I don't see any other reason why they'd make it or else they should have put all their time and effort into just that instead of putting Infinite Warfare um, as the main game. Whereas Battlefield 1 took the advice like I've said before and actually made the World War One remake so if COD went back I feel like they'd get a lot more sales they'd make a lot more profit and a lot more people would actually be happier playing their game but I've seen um, the all the trailers for both the games and you guys should know that I sold my PlayStation 4 and I sold and I never had an Xbox one so most likely I'm not going to be playing the game um, on console so I'm probably going to be playing it on my PC, which is still awesome because the graphics are going to be insane if I can upgrade my graphics car. <coughs> card, not car, if I can upgrade my graphics card, then I will be able to play the game on really high res. And uh, I just, I think the games look beautiful in general. They both are beautiful looking games, but if honestly, if I had to like vote for one of the two games to buy, <laughs> I'd probably buy Battlefield 1. Like I've never been a fan of choosing Battlefield over um, COD. I used to make fun of this kid at school for it, this kid named Jonathan. Uh, he used to play Battlefield 3 while I played Call of Duty fucking Black Ops 2, and uh, I used to just make fun of him all the time, call him a fucking Battlefield nerd, but now seeing it, Battlefield uh, does seem like it is a more superior first-person shooter right now, and I'm happy that they took the time to give the players what they want, because maybe it's not it doesn't have the label Call of Duty, but if they're doing what the Call of Duty fans want them to do, then I think moving over to that game for most COD fans won't be too bad and it won't be too uh, annoying. And I really, really like, I've liked the whole uh, depiction of the game, the whole like jets and rocket launchers and snipers, the whole bullet drop scene. Like I've, all, I've loved that about Battlefield and Battlefield Hardline was one of my most favorite games. It was a beautiful game too. It was a really, really, really good game. 
I didn't play much Battlefield 3, but Battlefield Hardline I played a lot of, and I really, really liked that. But Call of Duty has been going in a very shitty, very, 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 very shitty direction, and I don't think I'm going to be buying Infinite Warfare or getting the COD 4 remake until I see uh, a little bit of gameplay on it first, or if it... Because... <laughs> Honestly, I'm not even going to be surprised if Call of Duty literally cancels the game for how many dislikes it has. Like, actually completely just says, fuck it, we're not putting the game out this year. But, um, so that's pretty much, like, my voiced opinion on Call of Duty compared to Battlefield. I'd have to go for Battlefield 100% of the way, and I'm probably going to get Battlefield 1 and use it on my PC instead of Call of Duty, because I don't think I could do this Call of Duty scene anymore where, uh, we fucking fly around in robot suits and fight each other with super lasers so i think i might just stick to uploading uh black ops 2 open lobbies and you know playing black ops 2 and modern warfare 2 and cod 4 and world at war like i have and i think i'm about done <laughs> with the whole new cod scene and if you guys want to see battlefield 1 gameplay when it comes out i'm probably gonna have to upgrade my graphics card before i can record it and play it for you guys but uh until then I hope you guys can stick with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video about my opinions on Battlefield 1 vs. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare with the COD 4 remake. Uh, you guys probably saw some BO2 open lobby gameplay in the background. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. Make it super blue, like the bluest it's ever been. And I'll see you guys in the next video.